Hi, my name is Anna Mills. I'm an English instructor. I wanted to share with you um, a Chrome extension called Draftback that allows um, people writing in Google Docs to see their, their, the history of their drafting process. Um, it could also allow, if shared, it could also allow teachers to see uh, a student's writing history with a particular essay. Um, so here I've got a brainstorm that I wrote and because I've installed the draft back extension in Chrome, I have this button up here, draft back. And when I click that, I'm going to eventually get to a replay of the writing of the document that looks something like this. Um, so I should be able to pause it and then move around, you know, to the end of the writing process. I can jump ahead and um, I can see, you know, um, the writing moving forward and I can see um, deletions and, and rearrangements and I see a overview of the document here. And I can also see an analytics page with Draftback where I see what date um, I worked on the document and how, much, how many changes, how much I wrote in that time frame on this little graph. Um, of course, I could also go into the version history in Google Docs um, under File, Version History, C Version History. Um, over here, there are different versions. And if I click on one, I can see, you know, where I inserted a particular section. Um, ideally, students would be able to comment on their version history and use that as kind of a tool for for reflection and um, for recognition of what they're learning um, in the writing process so you know being able to comment on here's where i realized that i had a thesis at the end and i moved it to the beginning right or here's where i realized that this is really what i wanted to focus on um, so i went out and took something else out right um, we don't have that quite yet but students could do um, a video with screen share walking through their version history or walking through draft back and and reflecting on um, their writing process um, and last point is just that it's not foolproof because certainly students could um, could look at another screen that has ai content and then retype it of course into a new google doc um, and it wouldn't be too straightforward to, to detect that. But it would be pretty obvious in Draftback if they had copied and pasted large chunks of the paper into the draft. Um, and of course, we'd want to allow for things like if they're working with different documents and they have a, a brainstorm in one document and they're pasting that into the draft, right? So um, we don't want to you know, jump to conclusions about this, but it could be used sort of advisedly and collaboratively with students to help them um, feel more secure that they are not going to be falsely flagged as using AI if they're not. Um, so it's a way for them to show their process um, if there is an allegation like that. Um, and it, it could also be a way for them to reflect on their process. Okay, thanks very much.